I'm logged into Microsoft Azure. Let's start by navigating to the app service hosting our website. From here, let's navigate down to the Custom Domains tab. This is where we tell Azure App Service what custom domain we want to use. But unfortunately, we can't do that with the free app service plan we used. We'll need to upgrade to a paid plan in order to configure a custom domain. So let's go to Scale Up in order to change the app service plan that's hosting our website. You can see we're on the free pricing tier right now. If I click on the D1 plan, we're still on shared infrastructure, where our website is hosted on servers with other Microsoft customers. But now if I scroll down, the included features now has custom domains. Let's go to the production tab and see what other plans are offered. The standard S1 plan is selected, so let's scroll down. This plan allows you to use a custom domain, but this plan also lets you use an SSL certificate with your site so you can encrypt traffic to the site using HTTPS. The S1 plan also supports auto-scaling, which means you can configure Azure to add virtual machines to the plan in order to handle more load. You configure the criteria that needs to be met, and that could be at certain times of the week or when other certain thresholds are met, like memory usage on the web server. The S1 plan also includes staging slots, so you could upload a test version of your website, test it out in Azure, and then flip it to the production slot so it becomes the live site. The S1 plan also runs your website on servers that are dedicated to you, so these aren't being shared with other Microsoft customers. Let's leave the S1 plan selected and click Apply. Now if we navigate to Custom Domains, there's a link here to add a custom domain. There's also an IP address displayed here, and this is the virtual IP to all the web servers in this app service plan. So let's copy this and go back to our DNS provider. I'll scroll down the page and let's create an A record again. The at symbol is used to denote the root of the domain and let's paste in the IP address to the app service in Azure. And I'll click next and let's confirm this. Okay, now let's go back to the Azure app service. Now Azure is a little different than GoDaddy. We need to create another record in our DNS provider in order for Azure to verify that we actually own this domain. You need to copy this verification ID and if I hover over the information icon, you can see it says we need to create a TXT record. Let's go back to our DNS provider, and under the DNS settings, this time let's create a TXT record. I already have one created, and this is for a feature I'll be showing you in the next module. Let's edit this, and let's add a new record by pasting in the verification ID we copied. And according to the Microsoft documentation, we need to use the subdomain ASUID. So let's enter that and let's save these settings. But we're not done yet. We need to go back to Azure. And now let's click on Add Custom Domain. That opens up a dialog where we enter the domain name, pieshoptesting.com, and click Validate. You can choose the record type, and we created an A record, so I'll leave the default. We've already done the steps described here, and we've got green checkboxes from the verification. So let's click Add Custom Domain. Now the custom domain has been added to the list, along with the default domain that Azure created for us. It says it's not secure, but that's just because we don't have an SSL certificate for this domain name yet, so we can't navigate to the URL using HTTPS. That's fine for now. You can actually purchase domain names through Microsoft Azure, and these are called app service domains. But what's interesting is, Microsoft isn't actually a domain name registrar, so when you use this service, you're actually purchasing the domain name through Microsoft's partner, which is GoDaddy. Now let's open a new browser tab and navigate to pieshoptesting.com. This brings us to the website that's hosted in Microsoft Azure. Now, something to keep in mind is that pieshoptesting.com is no longer pointing to the site being hosted by GoDaddy. A domain name can only point to one web server, or IP address, at a time. In the previous clip, we pointed the domain name to the GoDaddy servers. And in this clip, we changed the A records in the DNS provider, so the domain name now points to the website being hosted in Microsoft Azure App Service. In this module, you saw how to configure the default page for a website on a few different web servers. You learned how to add and modify the fav icon that shows in the browser tab and bookmarks. You learned about domain name registrars, and we purchased a custom domain name from one registrar. Then you saw how to configure public DNS to point that domain name to a site first hosted by GoDaddy, and then the same site, but hosted in Microsoft Azure App Service. In the next module, we're going to look at how to optimize your site for search engines.